Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out Echo Chrome on the PSP. And that's literally all I know about this game. You guys probably know more than me. So today will be a journey of discovery. In this world, special laws apply. First, experience the five laws that rule this world. The first mystery is perspective traveling. Ah. Change the perspective and connect the path. This is like some inception stuff right here. Because if the path is connected. Pretty cool. I wonder how they program that actually. Um, oh, am I supposed to do this? Okay. Use the thumbstick. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, hold on. There we go. It's connected. Okay, just... The, um... The angles and stuff that you gotta move the stick do not feel 100% intuitive. Anyway. We've done it. It works. Great. It's a very cool concept. It's a sort of, uh... Landing. You know, perceptual illusion, MC Escher kind of... Uh game the character will land on whatever appears to be below okay oh you can land on the platform itself <laughs> that's cool okay oh no, i'm rotating the wrong way i feel like my thumbstick needs to be inverted i think this will be fine we that's so cool Okay, I, I'm definitely interested in the concept behind this game. Even if I can't reverse the thumbstick, which I really want to. Maybe I'll just get used to it. Ah, uh, I know this one. You have to rotate it. You yeah, so it's blocking. It, but there is a path. How did they program this? I'm so curious. Like, I don't, I don't really do 3D games myself, but I still understand some of the logic of how they're programmed and stuff, but... Excellent. This one is pretty crazy. The There's probably like a really simple, elegant absence. programming solution to how they figure this stuff out. There's probably like a couple tricks for every single uh, illusion that's going on here. Ah, I can cover it. Interesting. It no um, but it seems like you'd have to do all these different checks and stuff. But again, I don't really do 3D programming, so maybe it's simpler than it seems. Okay, we got that. Pretty easy. Great. Okay. The last mystery. Last is perspective mystery. Jump. Perspective jump. This is a very portal-ish game, you know. I feel. Where you want to jump is up to you. Interesting. This one seems the least intuitive of all of them. Like, why not just do that? But, whatever. Okay. Great. That one I don't feel like is as much of a perceptual illusion as he just sort of, like, jumped up really high. In Solo, clear the levels by encountering all echoes. Use the five mysterious Ooh. laws and create the Levels are complex. Okay, so let's, I guess, start... ...with this. Good luck. If this works. Okay, if I don't see it, it's not there. Good. And then he'll fall down there. Good. And then he'll jump. Oh, to his death. Okay, he just jumps forward. I get it. So, we want to do something like this? No, because then it covers it. Interesting. How do I want to do this one? Um, like this? And fall to his death. Oh, he landed. Oh, he can rotate it while he's in the air. Okay, wait. Hold on. Stop walking for a second. Land on that thing. Oh, man. It's kind of screwing up my perception. 
Okay, then we get a replay, which we don't Secondary. really need. Pair. Okay. Your objective is to have the same colored characters touch. Ooh la la. Okay, well this one... Okay, so we can just do this. And the two black characters are now gonna touch. Pretty sure. We'll figure out the white guys later. Boink. Now... Hmm. Very interesting puzzle. It really... You know, there have been like a few classic puzzle games in my mind, like Portal, Braid... Um, well, Tetris, obviously, but that's, like, different. Um, I'm thinking, like, puzzle games that have, like, really funky physics mechanics. This one, I don't necessarily think this is, like, a Portal or a Braid, because those are really, really, really good games. I'm not saying this isn't a good game, but definitely the mechanic here is very unique and almost could be one of those things. The problem is, I don't know... I don't even know how to get these white guys... Close. Maybe I just do this and block the whole thing? That's not sufficient. Okay. Let's see. To think about this. I'm missing something totally obvious here. If you do upside down, that doesn't do anything. Okay, what am I missing on this level here? One guy has an eyeball above his eye. I wonder what that means. Okay, so this floating platform in the middle, I haven't been able to do anything with. There is a black circle, like you could fall through these platforms, but how would you even get there? Oh, is it like something like this? Whoa! Oh, we killed him! Oh, he came back to life, okay. Well, that's actually informative. Oops. Okay, so maybe there's a way to... Um, how are we gonna do this? There we go. We get that guy. Sorry, buddy! <laughs> Sorry! Okay, we have to rotate... Okay, to the right as soon as he falls. Or to the left, actually. Oh, wrong way. Whoops. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, now I don't know what to do. Uh, these these controls really are a little backwards. Um, I kind of want to retry that level. I don't know if... I don't know what these levels even mean. Freeform, at Atelier, and Canvas. This is like the French art version of a title screen. Or etc. It's like single player, co-op, options, and quit. <laughs> but they just have really, they have really, really fancy names. It's like you go to a restaurant, you're trying to order a burger, and it's like, ah, you want the French Lietard Pouton on a bun. And it's like, yes, a hamburger, please. Um, damn, I, I feel like I actually wanted to figure out that one tutorial level, but we kind of missed, missed it now. It's a little bit of a shame. Good luck. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, there's one. Now, how do I get him off of this thing? Now I'm confused. Hmm. Oh, can we do that? No, nope. that doesn't work. Oh, can we do this? That's why no, that doesn't work. Did I just screw it up? Um, oh. No, that doesn't connect. So, like, only certain things will connect. Oh, you know what another one was? Uh, Fez. Where you rotate the world around. Actually, this reminds me a lot of Fez, because you can rotate. That's another sort of, uh, classic game. Okay. Can I just okay. retry this one, please? Actually, let's go to the menu. There's got to be... Oh, here we go. Options. Really want to change these controls. Oh, thank God. 
Okay, normal. Why are they both starting? <laughs> Why is inverse the default for both of them? Okay, I think actually this will help me. Okay, hold on. So now... Here, let's go actually... Do I have to redo the tutorial from Welcome scratch? Oh yeah, no. Okay, Queen. I don't actually want to do this. In That's this a shame, world, I really wanted to pass that tutorial level. Um, okay, so let's quit. And we'll go back into freeform. And we'll give this baby a shot. I don't have a lot of optimism we're actually going to get too far, given what's happened in the first level or two, how we can, like, barely pass it. But, okay, this feels far more normal for my brain to figure out the camera movements. Before, everything I was trying to do felt like it was going backwards. Now everything feels correct. Good luck. Okay, let's just see where this guy walks to start. And we'll kind of figure it out from there. Okay, so the question is, how do I get him to go anywhere else? Um, interesting. Oh, do I need to obscure something? Or, oh, how about this? Can he go like... How the heck do I do this? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna block it off. No, he can't walk that far. Okay, there are little jump pads on top here. You know what? Actually, I really wish this game was mouse controlled. Now that I'm doing it with the thumbstick, even not being reversed, it's like still a little tricky. And I'm like, oh, you know what? A thumbstick would make this so much simpler. Trying to connect up these two platforms here. They don't want to connect. I'm, I'm literally stumped. <laughs> this is level one. Okay. Skip, okay. I guess. Let's try a new level. That's, that's so sad. That is so embarrassing. What kind of difficulty curve is this? It went from tutorial to spike. Oh no, not again. I don't even know how to get this one started. That's the crazy thing. Like, what? Where do you... How do you begin? How do you begin? Oh, wait. Can we... Do this? I kind of wish the music would go away. I almost want to turn it off. Like, see what I'm trying to do? Where, like, if he walks forward, he steps onto the jumpy thing. But I guess... Oh, I just connected it. There we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, didn't expect him to end up there. Okay. One down. Okay, see, like, now the one, the black guy in the bottom right, I feel like I've connected that thing up, but he does not... Oh, he just... What? It was connected. Okay, but I actually want to connect it. Oh, God. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter how it's arranged. My brain just can't think in terms of uh, properly rotating with my thumbs. Okay, well that connected. Problem is, I don't know how to actually connect up to any of these jump pads here. That's not connected. Well, I connected the two tops. Is that something? Does that help me at all? Does not. Let's get him back on his original platform. I think this connects it up. Oh! Okay, didn't expect that to happen. Um. Now... Where do we go from here, I wonder? How about this? Oh, I just got that guy. Oh, that guy's jumping all over the place. Oh, wait. I need him. Okay, hold on. That was sort of progress. <laughs> oh, this is like, I'm so bad at this. Oh, we got him up here. 
If I can get the other guy back up here, I think we win. Okay, hold on. <sighs> we do this. Come on, guys. Hold hands, you're so close. Can you bros just leap into each other's arms or something? Oh, that's not connecting. Um, oh, I have an idea. Um, no. Oh, God, the rotations. Mm hmm. It's like that work. Does it do anything? I don't think it does. No. How the hell? I don't even know how I got that one guy down there. Okay, well, I can get this guy up here. That helps me. Whoa! That guy, uh, wait, how did the... Oh, wait, you can... Oh, sorry, buddy. I think I killed a guy. You can get him to walk on their own platform. You line it up just right. Oh! Oh, man, that one guy. Everybody get on this big platform here. It looks like it's connected. Why aren't you guys doing anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, shoot. Now I gotta get those two guys together? Oh! It's happening! Yes! Okay. We're not gonna watch that replay. I feel like that was random chance working in my favor. Somehow I assembled the crash test dummy grid people together. Okay. This is hard. This is this this game is way harder than I thought it would be, frankly. Um And I can't 100% tell when I've lined things up correctly. Like there. Okay, I guess I did make a T. I was like, did I make a T or not? Is he going to take me up on the T or is he just Oh, there he goes. And now I don't know. Oh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay. Now. Um, how do I get off this platform? The problem is my brain does not work in this weird physics. So I don't even know how to like get off. When I need to, I get stuck on these platforms, then I'm just confused. Oh wait, if I rotate around this way... Oops. Hold on, let's try this. Oh, there we go. And get off that platform at least. Okay, now... Oh, I think I can just block... I can just obscure it, right? Yes! Alright, well... Two down. We can obscure that one, and then... Fall onto there. Did that help me? Didn't seem to, actually. Um... Okay... I'm kinda stuck now, actually. How do I get off of this? This is messing my brain up, man. Oh, I think... Come on, those are connected, man. Oh, come on. Line up. Oh, there we go. Something's lining up. Oh, come on, it's lined up, man! There we go. Oh, we got another one. Alright, so when he jumps... I want to go... Oh, God! Shoot, I didn't want to end up up here. How do I get to that middle one? It's gonna be the great challenge. Okay, so... Do this... Then... Oh, God, I don't know! Where'd he go? Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's I know we were close, but I... It's unbelievable how 
hard these seem. I swear to God we're doing this on hard mode. Where are the basic levels? What's Atelier? I don't even know what these things mean. Okay. I'm guessing this is like easy to hard. So let's just try. Let's just give these a shot. Okay, this looks much simpler. Where it's like a one puzzle kind of thing. I, this I'm down for because then we can gradually build our skill level up. Okay, so. That looks pretty lined up to me. Good luck. That looks like it should work, and it does. Perfect. So he gets that one. Gets that one, and then we win. This is the level of difficulty I want to be playing. Oh, and he needs to go back. Okay. It's all right. Let's line these two puppies up. Nice, good old perceptual illusion. It's like one of those impossible shapes. Great. We got it. Ooh, we even get a little score. Yeah, okay, this is the mode. I don't know why freeform mode is the default, but this is the one we need to be playing. This is our skill level, guys. I was about to say this game is insanely hard, but I'm glad this exists because... Now it's, like, possible. Okay, so the question is... So when he jumps... The jumping thing still warps my brain a little bit. I don't 100% know how to account for it. I think I want to go to the left. We No, he died. Oops. Hmm. No. Oops. Okay, hold on. See, this is what we need is a nice little learning experience. Okay, he died again. But what if we just do this? No, he died Oops. again. I'm gonna try and get him to jump right above where he is, just to get the other dude right away. Ah, there we go. Perfect. The jumping actually kind of screws me up. The falling is a little easier to deal with, but the jumping is, like, kind of weird. So I, I sort of don't understand what it's gonna consider as above him, or, like, how high he's gonna jump, or any of that. I think that's why it's a little weird. This one seems not bad, but I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> like, this seems pretty straightforward so far. Gets the one shadow, falls, falls through the hole, gets the other shadow. The jumping is going to kill me, but we'll just figure out what we need to do from there. One shadow, two shadows. And then, oh, that worked. Well, then if you're fast enough, you can go and do this and then. All right, this was a nice, pretty simple level. See, I'm liking these gradually more complex levels because I have a chance to like understand and learn the mechanics piecemeal. Okay, next one. I feel like we're flying through them now. Now we're in Echo Chrome Pro, man. All yeah. right. Go for it, dude. Oh, you're gonna fall right through that hole, aren't ya? Ain't ya? Whee! Okay, and then- Oh god! Didn't block Oops. that off sufficiently. Okay, there you go. Now you're safe. <laughs> Just don't look down while you're walking over there. Okay, and then... I want to do this. Shoot, didn't want to do that. Oh wait, yeah I did. Because I can just do this. Oops. There. That's good. 
If you don't see it, it doesn't exist. It's kind of a cool mechanic, actually. Um, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it worked. Great. Wow. Partially, I was rotating it the wrong way there, but... I mean, we all know at this point I'm terrible with the controls, inverted or not. Okay, so for this one... Line it up like that. This really is like the stairway scene in Inception. With Joseph Gordon-Levitt. God, that was a good movie. I think this will work. Oh, he over jumped it. Okay. <laughs> a little less. Don't jump so high, buddy. Whee! Okay. And then I don't know where he wants to go now. Oh, can we just get him to straight up go to the top? Yeah, that looks pretty good. No, he doesn't want to go to the top. See, sometimes lining these up, it, like, doesn't accept it. If it always worked every time... See, like, I don't know why that's not working. Here, we can try it a different way. Mm, no, that's not going to line up. I guess it has to look right, but... Okay, we're somehow trapped down there. Can't 100% figure out how to get my guy out of there. He's gonna jump to his death on this one. Oh! Oh! He just fell to his death. Okay. We. Oh, that worked. We kind of caught him. No, stop! Oh, that <laughs> was completely not intentional. See, the jumping really screws me up. It's it's the weirdest mechanic where I can't tell where he's moving in X, Y, and Z space. He's just all over the place. Um. Okay, I am ready for this one. Good luck. All my echochrome skills are coming to a head. We're gonna get this shadow, get that shadow. Okay, but I just, I don't really know what to do from here. But I got that one. Maybe we, uh... Line this thing up. Oh, God. We kinda have to line it up and then, like, move the camera. That's the play. Just don't know which way to move it. Oh, he died. Um, I wish after you got him to jump, you could like pause the game and see where he was going to land. Um, okay, I didn't expect him to land there, actually. Um, this one's a bit of a mystery. Um, geez, how do you do this? Okay, so getting him to walk is okay. Okay, getting him to jump's okay, and then... what I do? I think I would just rotate it this way until he lands on the platform? I don't know. I don't fully get this one. Oh, I rotated it the wrong way! Oh, he almost made it! What was the X, Y, and Z coordinates there? He was all over the place. He moved through space like a sack of potatoes flying into orbit. Okay, the other way. Oh, he just fell to his death. Okay, one more shot. Let's see if we can get this guy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Jump. Oh, I rotated the wrong way again. It's okay. It feels like you could almost land that. Oh, what the hell? He did land. Okay, I... I don't know. We'll try one more time. I feel like as interesting as this game is, it definitely feels like it's beyond my, uh... my skill levels. 
Okay, and rotating. Oops. Oh, he just went off. Okay, so clearly I'm rotating the wrong way. Hey, okay, come on, this has to work. The way that I thought was wrong to rotate was the right way to rotate. And the way that I- Oh my god! Oh, but he missed it! <laughs> okay, one more shot. One more shot. It feels like a bit of a crapshoot. Oh, but... Okay. Oh! It worked! There we go. Get it! Great. Yay! <laughs> Don't watch the replay on that one, it's horribly embarrassing. Alright, let's just see what this last one is. Here, not not that it's the last one, but it's the last one I think that we'll try out here today, because, uh... It's wrinkling my brain. Oh, I don't even know where to get started on this one. Um... Yeah, like I'm... Oh, is it somehow... Oops, oh god. Oh, the rotations! Somehow over this way? Like, would that work? Good luck. Let's give it a shot and see. Um, oh, it actually did work. Okay, so that that's a starting point. And then... Okay, we'll wait for the guy to come back here. And... Okay, we got one. I'm frankly I'm shocked that worked. We do just do it again. Like what if we just do that? Oh my god, that worked too. Okay. Wait, stay on that platform because I actually don't know how to get the middle guy. Oh, I think I have to fall through the thing. Okay, hold on. Maybe maybe my brain is starting to comprehend the world of Echo Chrome here. So like if we line that up perfectly. Let's just see if this works here. Okay, so he's on this platform. Perfect. Now if we get him onto this back platform here. Oh, oh, get on it. There he goes. Okay, now he's on that. Now if we can. I don't want to like get him. We want to get him to fall through one of these holes, I think, is the key. Like, if we can have him fall through this hole... can't even line it up quite right. No, he has to fall through this hole. But then we need him to fall onto this current platform where the hole is. Okay. <laughs> No, it's not gonna work. Anyway, you know, I could figure this out if I were to keep going, but I feel like, as interesting as I find this mechanic, I, I don't, it's like, it's not as satisfying as I want it to be for some reason. It, it's we, it's hard to describe. Like, definitely this is a very cool, unique mechanic. Oh, we almost landed it. Um, oh my God, how did that work? Oh, we missed our chance. Oh, <laughs> oh he's still falling, by the way. We could still land it somehow. I think if you got really good with these hole mechanics, you could do some wild things. It's a cool idea for a game. Very cool. Um... Oh, we did it! I... that is so crazy. It feels like cheating, because it feels like I didn't actually plan any, like, crazy good fall. He just sort of, like, fell until he landed, and it just happened to be where I needed him to go, you know? But, okay, I think I know how to get him back from here, though safely without going through any like giant vortices through space Great. there we did it we did it so we ended on a victory here guys it's a cool idea for a game it's quite neat i think um you definitely have to start to think in a different degree of space um i thought the holes were cool but they also felt not random because it isn't random but it's like really hard to judge where you are in space and the jumps are really hard to judge um, this is one of those games that if you watch someone who's really good at it, it's probably impressive as fuck. Like, it's probably, like, really impressive to watch someone. For me, though, playing it, again, it was neat, but I didn't feel super satisfied. I often felt like I was confused as to where to put things. I was just sort of stumbling around, then I sort of got it purely by chance. So I don't know... 
it, it, it's like it's not like Tetris where like you drop a piece and it's super satisfying. So anyway, long story short, neat idea for a game, very cool. Um, definitely worth checking out if you like this kind of mind-bending puzzle because I, I haven't seen this kind of puzzle before, but it's very cool. Um, but for me, I think it's just not a good fit for my brain, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Did I totally botch this one? Did I do an amazing job? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, whatever your thoughts on this game, I hope they are five-dimensional and that you will share them with me and that you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, like the video, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and other than that, I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves. In peace.